Compliance is what they are after, and outright obedience is what they will demand and expect. Call me the resistance, or call me a nonconformist, but either way, I refuse to submit to government's unconstitutional outreach. The other reason why I'm here today is because in my world, history matters, perceptions matters, truth matters, and our country matters. Having said that, there are many things that government is good at, and our fine military is one of them. But there is a dark side to our government, and that's where I have trust issues with our government. For one, government is good at deceiving others. Secondly, government excels in their self-appointed role as enforcers. You think the mafia is bad, gangsters have nothing on the government. You see, the mafia, they do not write laws that we expected to follow. And from what I've heard from others, no one ever wants to have the FBI or the IRS stop by your door. What I'm here about to share with you is fact and can be verified, although I must say that as I stand before you speaking, there are people sitting in a room somewhere rewriting this country's history. As mentioned, deception is one of the tools of government, as well as exaggeration. Just a week ago, I was watching a public service announcement about hate crimes in America, which is a theme those on the left and the compliant media are pushing. And I mean pushing hard. And I am not saying that it is not an issue. I'm just saying that this issue is being blown out of proportion. But first, who are these groups that are driving this hate crime agenda? In a nutshell, they are liberals with a Marxist socialist leaning. Hollywood elites, the LGBTQ crowd, the progressive environmental movement, the pro-abortion movement, the anti-gun crowd, the liberal media, such as ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, and CNN, and many more who support this agenda. Add to this, all of these groups fall under the Democrat umbrella. It is an agenda that is anti-Judeo-Christian at its core, and anti-America in its scope, and anti-middle class as well. If you notice, there were a lot of large businesses that were allowed to operate during COVID. But small businesses, public schools, and churches were severely restricted. Most kept on lockdown, some still on lockdown, and largely in Democrat-controlled areas. For those who may have voted Democrats in the past, and there are a lot of good Democrats that I know, this may come as news to you, but it is the Democrat leadership that supports these harsh restrictions and under the guise of looking out for your welfare. Their party leadership is good at disguising their true positions on the issues. Add to that, many who vote Democrat are unaware of their party's true agenda and know nothing of their party's nefarious history. And that's where I come in. I'm going to talk about that history. But getting back to the subject of deception and what amounted to a commercial, there on the television screen was a map of the continental USA and little dots showing where there have been outbreaks of hate crime across America. The total number that flashed across the screen was like 2,800 plus. I believe those numbers represented, you know, so far this year, what you know has happened in a hate crime um, movement. But anyway, last year I think it was like 7,000 plus hate crimes, so that had to be about this year. But after that announcement, the commercial made sure that everyone knew that this was a national crisis that needed to be addressed. Now mind you, a national crisis. You know, of course I'm sorry for those who were at the receiving end of hate crimes and every other crime in the world, but we have a population of 340 million people in the United States. And 2,800 plus in a population of 340 million people does not constitute a crisis. Think of it this way. You had $340 million in the bank 
and you lost 2,800 of it on a bad investment venture, would you suddenly look at this as a major crisis in your financial life? A life where you're sitting on worth, you know, 340 million? I don't think you would. My point is this, in the world of perception, those on the left have been masters at making false claims and making mountains out of molehills for decades on a number of topics. And most Americans do not even think twice about what they're being told. They just run with it. I call this being propagandized. You see, those in leadership positions on the left are good at getting the masses to go along with them because they are masters at getting people to respond on an emotional level, like the commercial I mentioned. To this day, we are a nation teeming with uninformed and misinformed people. And more and more, we are becoming a society governed by fear, not faith.